Qingsheng International Bamboo Art Museum. Qingsheng County, home of China's bamboo weaving art. Officials, experts, good morning. I am a practitioner of Qingsheng bamboo weaving art. My name is Chen Yunhua. We have Inbar's flag on this square. This is a sign that here is the international training base of the International Bamboo and Rantan Organization. Inbar has been a great supporter to Qingsheng Bamboo Weaving Art and the related industry development. Madam Jiang Zihui have attached great importance to our local rural development. Her supports are indispensable for our local development. Our bamboo weaving art has spread all over the world. This is the very evidence that we have developed by all means our local featured bamboo industry. This area contains our bamboo weaving art training base, production base, and China Bamboo Art City. This area is about 2.8 square kilometers. It is a large industry park. There are two museums exhibiting Qingxin's bamboo weaving art. One is International Bamboo Art Museum. Another is China Bamboo Art City. This museum is the International Bamboo Art Museum. There are many fine bamboo weaving artworks. Let's visit the museum. In February 2018, when investigating in Sichuan province, President Xi Jinping encouraged the local to realize bamboo sector's full potential. He commented that Sichuan is a major province of bamboo production. Sichuan should adopt suitable measures to develop the local bamboo industry, making the most of local advantages, so that the bamboo forests can become beautiful scenic horizon in rural areas of Sichuan province. This is a specific instruction on bamboo sectoral development. We need to follow the instruction of President Xi to develop our local featured bamboo industry. Next, let me show you the fine arts in the museum. What we are visiting is the history part. This is a finishing basket in the very early time and traditional vessels. This is a special bamboo oven container. Inside are big stones. People drop many of these into river for water control. This is a bamboo weaving over oil container and an official's hat. These are made in the Qing and Han dynasties. Here are bamboo oven shoes and cover of stoves. They were made in the Tang dynasty. This bamboo hat is used by the Asian military. This food container was used for carrying snacks or cakes in royal palaces. Here are hats of Han, Ming, Yuan dynasties. We have reproduced according to historical records. Here is the history. It tells about the development courses of Qingsheng Bamboo Weaving Art. Here is a figure of Mr. Su Dongpo, a very famous literati in China's history. When he is starting in Qingsheng County, his wife, Miss Wang Fu, used a bamboo oven fan to help him repel mosquito and cool him down. He also made a big bamboo pillow for him to hold at night when sleeping, so that he could feel cool. In Qingsheng, there is a temple called Zhongyan Temple. In the temple, there was a stone carved bodhisattva Guan Yin with a bamboo basket in her hand. The stone carving was made in Tang Dynasty and is the only one found till now that holds a bamboo basket. This basket was commonly seen in Tang Dynasty. Ladies carry them daily for making the life or carrying foods. In nation times, there was a man called Chan Song. He taught local people to raise silk worms and to make bamboo oven baskets to carry mulberry tree leaves to feed the silk worms and to make bamboo round pen for containing silk worm babies. Our bamboo weaving art start from this early silk worm raising activities and our county's name also came from this production activity. This historical fact evidenced that local bamboo weaving activities started very early in human history. During the Second World War, Qingsheng people wove the hats for the Red Army. 
which helped the soldiers to avoid rain on their long journey. In the 1970s, local people produced a large amount of bamboo fans, bamboo mats, and sold them to the domestic market. At that age, there was no electric fan nor air conditioner. Every year, we sold millions of bamboo fans. This is our first flourishing age. Here shows the bamboos in Qingsheng. You could see, our bamboo have long internodes. Each internode is about 1.2 or 1.3 meters long. This bamboo is the material we use to make the frame of the two big red lamps hung on the rostrum of Tiananmen. When Chairman Mao Zedong announced the establishment of the People's Republic of China, this is because the other types of bamboo cannot be made into this big curve. Only the bamboos of Changjiai and Qingsheng can do this curve. Only Qingsheng people can make this lampshade. We are very proud that we and our lamps have witnessed this most glorious time. The next part is an introduction of me. I established my first bamboo weaving workshop in rural Qingsheng County in 1968. I learned bamboo weaving skills from my grandfather since I was only 5 to 6 years old. I have been very talented in bamboo weaving, so people call me the genius boy. My products are welcomed by local people, no matter the flying saucer, round pen, or food basket, or backpacks, or other types of daily products. Not only local people like it, our products were exported to other countries. The income from the export was exchanged into four tractors. Three were hand tractors. One were automatic steering controlled Dongfeng Hong tractor. In this way, we started our agricultural mechanization in rural Nancheng town. Now we come to the second floor. This is my own working studio. Here exhibits my fine arts made in the past. Here is a series of plain weaving art imitating the bamboo paintings of Mr. Zheng Banqiao, a nation artist. You can feel the woven art work with your hand. These paintings were woven by fine filaments of bamboo. This is a perfect imitation of the artistic painting. It's an extract copy of every special touch and the whole structure. The vigorous and forceful effects and the artist's concepts expressed in this painting were all reproduced. Qingsheng Bamboo Weaving Art has five series. The first is plain weaving. Just now, what we saw is plain weaving. The second is weaving over porcelain. The third is dimensional weaving. The fourth is bamboo woven furniture. The fifth is simulation bamboo weaving. Let's have a look one by one. These five characters represent the standards of our bamboo weaving art. They are innovative, fantastic, ingenious, fine, and elegant. Let's first see innovative. Why and how innovative? Here are some tea sets. With bamboo weaving over the porcelain, these fine artistic products have some innovative touches. First, the bamboo cover is pressed to the surface of the porcelain. Second, one can find no joints or ends. Third, the filaments are very fine. These innovative advantages are developed from traditional crafts, where we can weave over not only porcelains, but also wood, glass. This is porcelain and bamboo oven art here. Here we could see some fantastic 3D bamboo weaving arts. Three D bamboo weaving arts include daily used baskets, containers, pens, etc. Here we show some simulation weaving arts. Here are chicken, deer, horse, mandarin duck, elephant, panda, etc. We have two unique features. One is to make the bamboo into very fine and thin filaments, as thick as a cicada's wings. 
and as fine as a hair. This work is an invisible figure of the Buddhist set of a Guanyin. You may only observe it from sideways, but could not see anything from the front. This product is very much welcomed in Buddhism market. It has been sold very well over the last 30 years. The invisible Bodhisattva just made the Zen language. The Buddha is in mind. The next part is ingenious. We used long filaments to weave this picture of a beauty wearing a hairpin, Tang Dynasty. This woven artwork has high values. The market price is more than 3.6 million yuan per piece. It is very fine, beautiful. For many years, it does not change color. We guarantee that the color will not fade in a hundred years. Just now I mentioned we have two unique features. The second one is we make high-value products. With very low cost, we could weave out very high-value products. Sometimes, the value is 10,000 times of the cost. This piece of work is called Riverside Scene at Qingming Festival. This painting is a treasure of Chinese culture, of great historic and cultural values. We reproduce the painting with the bamboo fine weaving craft. The price of this piece is more than 3 million yuan. Here we see the value of art. Bamboo weaving art can reach to a very high artistic level. This big vase has bamboo woven art over it. Note that it is the highest and biggest we have here. Just now we see tea sets. They are daily utensils. Here what we see is a pure artwork. When we make this product, we make the surface have some relief effects. This is very difficult to realize, but we have successfully woven it out. This product is a unique one in China, maybe in the world as well. The other one is with the relief of dragon and phoenix on it. This is my innovative in the recent years. The colorful bamboo weaving. We dye our bamboo filaments and then weave them into artworks. This piece is called the vegetable garden. The price is around 4 million yuan. In the picture, you find tower guard, a rooster, calabash, pumpkin, balsam pear, eggplant, tomato, cowpea and corn, etc. This is one of the treasures of our museum. Here we have many works. There is no time to introduce one by one. Please follow me to see these recent works. Here is a Chinese character which means fine or say excellent. To paint a vivid picture is very difficult. We use fine bamboo filaments to weave a picture. Here we have woven out the portraits of the leaders of our country. The first one is Chairman Mao Zedong. This is a portrait of his young age traveling. The second one of the shift designer of China, Mr. Deng Xiaoping. The third one is former President Jiang Zemin. The fourth is former President Hu Jintao. The fifth is our President Xi Jinping. These works have so skillfully imitated the original as it is hard to distinguish from the original. Each bamboo filament, there is a condense of the artist's hard work. The next part showed bamboo woven calligraphy arts. We showed local calligraphy at works here. Because Su Dongpo have been studying in Qingshan County in his young ages. Qingsheng is his birthplace. He grew up here and is nourished by local culture. His calligraphy works has a deep connection with Qingxin's local folk culture. These works include his poems and Song of the Red Cliff, Red Cliff Capriccio, Mid-Autumn Festival, etc. Our woven works has exactly reproduced his calligraphy arts, not missing any details. These products are welcomed both in domestic and international markets. Now, let's see the elegant part. This woven artwork shows China Panda, which is an ambassador of Chinese people. Wherever we go, 
we can take with us some gifts related with giant panda. They are welcomed very much overseas. These artworks are often selected by national, provincial governments as gifts for foreign friends. Here we have some artworks reflect the rural lives and local folk cultures. This one shows children's fun. In the ancient times, there's no TV, not many electronic toys. The children in the picture are playing archer game. Here, bamboo weaving art is integrated with the elegant cultures, become very valuable artworks. We could promote in domestic and international markets.